All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to put a handle on a screen door. Uh, the first thing you have to do is figure out where exactly you want to put the handle. Um, we're going to put it right in the middle. Some people would put it high so kids can't get at it, but uh, we're going to put it right where an adult would open it, right about elbow level. All right, so anyway, the first thing we did was measure out a spot about, you know, hand level for the uh, catch plate. Uh, where we're going to have our handles hooked into the uh, into the screen door. And then we went ahead and we drilled a couple holes on it. Now, I'm not sure if you should do the catch plate first or wait and do the catch plate after you put your handle on. But we started out with a catch plate, which could have been a mistake. But, um, you know, as you can see, we drilled two holes. And then uh, we grabbed the catch plate and two Phillips head screws with, that are painted white on it because you want them to be white to match the uh, outside of the frame and the door of course and then basically we just kind of like screwed those in there so anyway I'm not sure like I said before if this is the best way to start but it does give you an idea of where you got to put the handle and your uh, latch uh, that catches onto that little bar there um, in the end of the video, you're going to see we ha actually have to move this a little bit closer so the door will seed uh, nice and tight. But um, this was, uh, you know, trial and error, and so you learn as you go. And um, But this gave us an idea of exactly how to set up the handle. So here we're just trying to look and see exactly where uh, this latch uh, catch part of the handle or the back side of the screen uh, is going to go and uh, just trying to test it out to see kind of where we're going to go. We're going to kind of mark it and then we're going to get an idea where the first hole should go and uh, then we're going to use the template that they gave us to uh, you know to actually uh, uh, make the um, or drill the holes for the uh, handle itself. As you can see we're kind of trying to figure that out right now and so we got that first one marked Here's the handle, and you can see those posts have to go all the way through, and so does the locking mechanism. All right, so once we've marked that top hole, then we can measure down for the next two holes that we have to drill. We're going to start off with a small uh, bit and then put a bigger bit on after. So we'll get that first one in there. Okay, so with this screen door, we've got this little template that they gave you in the instructions. And it's got the exact position for the three holes that you have to drill. And they're all going to be the same size hole. Once you get your first one in, you can mark the other two. The one in the center is for the uh, lock that uh, when you press the button, it locks and unlocks the latch. And the one in the bottom, the topper for the screws. And then we just got to mark them a little bit better with the pencil. And we're going to drill through those uh, with the small drill first. And once we get those three holes drilled, then we're going to get a larger bit and we're going to drill through there because we have to be able to slide that handle through and also slide that plunger that uh, uh, goes in the middle for locking and unlocking the latch. So first we'll get the small holes drilled, then we'll get the bigger bit and we'll drill those bigger holes. All right, so now we've switched out the bit. You can see it's much larger and what we're doing here is we're going to ream these holes out, all three of them, so that they're big enough uh, to fit that, um, that handle uh, through all the way and also the um, lock that needs to go through. You're going to have to probably go on both sides and do it uh, and make sure that you get a nice clean uh, hole in there. You can see that's what we're doing now and uh, we're going to do all three of them. Get them nice and clean, make sure there's no chunks of steel on there afterwards. And then we're going to go ahead and try to put our uh, okay. our handle on and uh, and our latch. This is the handle here, and as you can see, it just kind of slides in there. So you just want to make sure that you've got it in there and it's centered. And then you've got to put um, uh, the locking mechanism in there before you try to screw it on, of course. And basically, it's got a little plunger and a spring on it. First, you got to put the push button in like we did there just dropped it down and then you're going to slide that little spring head in there and then you've got to fit it through that center hole all the way through and once you get it through there you got to kind of aim it it's a little tricky but you can do it it's not that hard 
So you got to get your two screw posts and your lock mechanism through all three holes at once. And then you're going to slide your uh, latch uh, on there. But first you got to twist that little uh, center piece so it fits in that a little crevice on the latch. And then once you've got that, then we can put our screws in and tighten it down and um, it'll be ready to go. And then we'll check it, make sure that it works properly. Uh, we got to get the screw gun, of course. And these are Phillips heads. And they just kind of slide through there and they catch that those little extenders that were on that outside handle. And um, then you tighten them down. We've got to grab the screw gun and um, get it on there and just tighten her down. One and two. Now we got to see if the, uh, once we get it tight, <laughs> we got to see if it works. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Yes. Excellent. Good job. That's going to work great. All right, so now we can check it. We've closed it. You can see it's moving a little bit. So we're going to have to change the uh, catch, that little latch catch. We're probably going to have to take that off of there and redrill it. We probably should have waited to put that on last, but we put it on first, which was probably a mistake. But before we do that, what we've got to do is put a little screw in the very bottom of the, uh, of the handle. <laughs> we're going to have to drill a hole and then put the Phillips head screw in there. So... Um, and that'll uh, lock that uh, outside handle in there. Here's the Phillips head screw. We just got to lock it in there. And that'll make it really stable and strong. So got to get it in there, bam, done. And then we just double check and tighten them up a little bit on the, out, on the inside too. And once you've done that, now you've got a real stable handle on there, inside and out, because you've got them nice and tight. And, uh, and then we're going to do a little uh, check on it. To see how she opens and closes and she does pretty good now we got to change that latch which uh because we need that thing to to close nice and tight against the screen and not rattle so we've got to get this little latch catch moved over just about an eighth of an inch or so and uh, which means we're going to probably have to drill a couple new holes on it and uh, so we're going to mark them they're going to be pretty close to the old ones but um they should uh uh, pull the door a little bit tighter because, you, because if you don't, that thing's going to rattle. And uh, that's going to be a real nuisance. You can see how close they are. I mean, they're only like um, just uh, uh, just barely an eighth of an inch away. And a little bit lower, we're going to drop them down about an eighth of an inch. And, uh, and then we're going to put that latch catch on there. And uh, that should solve our problem and our door should shut and nice and tight and have a good seal on it. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, first we're going to put the screw in there just to widen the hole a little bit to make sure that it'll, it'll fit in there and, and uh, grab real good. And then we're going to throw the latch uh, catch on there and, uh, and screw them right in there. Bam. That's it, just like that. And then after we get them in there nice and tight, we're going to go ahead and give it a check and make sure that we've got uh, a good tight seal on that door. So go ahead and pull that bad boy shut, see how she does. And let's watch it shut. Bam, nice and tight. <laughs> of course, we've got that on there, it helps it. All right, so here's the finished product. You can see it's locked, and I wanted to show you how you unlock it underneath here. There's a little latch that you pop like that, and then you can open it and then to lock it you push it like this and then that's locked so that works pretty good you can see that we don't have hardly any play in this so that came out really well let's go outside let's unlock it again i pull it here and then i'm going to walk outside and uh put some papers down and this is our door right here so it came out pretty good looks really nice this is the plunger here and when you push against that, it has that spring in there, so it, that's why it comes back. And that's what that spring was for. And it kind of pushes that out. And then you just shut it, and bam, and it works perfect. And the door is just in there just the way you need it to have it. And that is it. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos.